we're looking for a limit for this expression here. So the first thing to do is uh, let's simplify a little bit and let's take the um, cover off, sort of speaking, and see what are we dealing with here. You have x plus 3 on top. Um, it's basically squared down there. And then you have here is x squared minus 9 and then x squared plus 9. Okay, so for the uh, simplification, you have x uh, minus 3 here. Uh, approach minus 3, you have x plus 3 on top. We're just going to copy it one more time. Here you have x plus 3, x minus 3, okay, and then you have x squared plus 9. So from there, you can see where the trick comes in now. Now x plus 3 actually gets canceled. So we actually remove to the 0 over 0 uh, because the, there's a cancellation over here. Now if you take a look at the top, when you substitute a minus 3 here, it, it does goes to 0, but the bottom is no longer equal to 0. Does not equal to 0. It's actually a number. So therefore, this whole limit goes to 0. Well, limit goes to the 0. Um, so this is a good trick, a good question. you got to take the veil almost off before you can take a look at the limit. All right? Hope this helps. Have a confident day.